The changes that I've noticed in the fishery and the water quality over the years are really about a changing climate. How lucky are we to have a resource and an advocate and a champion for this river like the Henry's Fork Foundation. I'm Lizzie Raffin. I've been spending summers on the Henry's Fork for 35 years. And the Henry's Fork has kind of a magic and history that I find really unparalleled. And anglers come from all around the world to have the opportunity to test their skills against big rainbow trout. I think the work that's being done by the science and technology team at the Henry's Fork Foundation is incredibly exciting. Howdy, howdy. How was fishing? It was great. It's beautiful out. My name is Jack McLaren. I'm the Aquatic Ecology Program Manager for the Henry's Fork Foundation based in Ashton, Idaho. In 2016, people were rather upset. There was high water temperatures, high turbidity, and that affects the fishing experience. I love to fish and um, I saw those challenges firsthand and wanting to figure out why the problems we were seeing were happening was a huge motivator for me. <laughs> so let's get, we're gonna need life jackets and everything, of course. Yep. So the last 10 years of water quality monitoring have revealed a series of issues. In the reservoir, we've learned that algae blooms create most of the water quality problems. There's a lack of oxygen in the deep, cool waters that has impacts on fish habitat. Okay. I'm going to start saving data in about a couple seconds here. You ready, Teddy? Yeah. Okay. That's what causes that turbidity or lack of clarity in the river downstream. The excessive algal growth also prevents the growth of rooted aquatic vegetation in the reservoir. Sediment is prone to resuspension when there's bad weather. It all stems from it's warmer and there's less water. They're big problems requiring big solutions, but thankfully we know a path forward. It's just a question of getting it done. I think this kind of technology is super cool. It is super cool, yeah. I came up with the dirt plan because I knew we were having problems with dirt in the water in terms of poor water clarity, right? DIRT stands for Developing Infrastructure to Reduce Temperature and Turbidity. It's a wide-ranging set of solutions that are both nature-based and engineering-based. Those solutions include oxygenating Island Park Reservoir, installing a variable elevation outflow gate. It involves stream and tributary restoration, as well as existing uh, programs that help keep Island Park Reservoir as full as possible, as long as possible we're working with irrigators downstream to improve water conservation and to reduce water use. It's going to take people's time, it's going to take money, it's going to take cooperation, it's going to take permitting, it's going to take a, a lot of effort from a lot of different people in order to make this happen. My family and I have been longtime supporters of the Henry's Fork Foundation, and I joined the board a little bit over a year ago. Anglers have lots of questions about what is happening with river conditions, with water quantity, water quality. Anglers are able to have answers to these really important questions that we have about the health of this river system. And I think as we embark on this new chapter of water quality work, I think that's a really exciting new chapter.